setting the content in JSP. Let me make a small mistake here, for example, I write PP. Okay, the reason I made a small mistake is because maybe some of you make a mistake and you'll see a cross, a uh, cross, red cross in the Eclipse, which means there's some com compiling compilation error in your Java program. So before you proceed to export it, you should debug it. Anyway, so I remove the mistake which I have done ju done just yet. Now there is a cross in index.jsp which is which means there is some mistake here as well which I did just a few seconds ago. So I undo that as well. So just make sure that before you export there is no cross sign here which means everything is well and fine. Okay, now the thing is to export it. So we say just go and we just do the refresh from last time. We say export var file. Um, and we browse to the folder which is which we just created which is this one group project CS output folder okay okay so I go to th my folder here You should have, you should you should see a f uh, var file team to task three dot var, which is which corresponds to your application. So having done this, your application has been exported to a var file in your H drive. Now, what we need to do is we need to deploy this application onto the virtual machine. Okay, so we keep it like that, and we go and we log on to the virtual machine. Okay. Um, how to log on to the virtual machine we have given a detailed instruction in a document that we have pasted on ulink however i'll just show you mm, how you should do it okay so you run mstcs sorry mstsc okay now you should receive you should have received the ip uh, for your virtual machine from ulink Okay, login, the, put the username as administrator. Now one more thing before we proceed. Uh, go to local resources, go to more, and click the hash drive. The reason is, we will use the hash drive to move files between your local machine and your virtual machine. So we say, show the, show the hash drive into our virtual machine. So we just click it. It's already clicked for me because I did it beforehand. Uh, but for you, it, it, sh it would be something like this, and then you need to click it. So you click OK, this, and then you say Connect. You say Connect. Uh, you can say Don't show this again, and then... Okay, that's your virtual machine. Administrator is, uh, is your username. Password, again, you should have received from um, Ulink. And the password. And so that's the desktop of my virtual machine. Okay, now Tomcat has already been installed on your virtual machine. So we go here, we say My Programs, and we say Tomcat. This is the home directory of the Tomcat. I go to the home directory. So that's one thing. Now the second thing is, I go to my computer. You should also see a hash drive. onto your uh, of or hash drive of your local machine. I go here. So from your virtual virtu from your the desktop of your virtual machine you should see your hash drive because we just mapped it. Now if you go to your this output folder this is the var file that we just created. So I copy the var file into the Tomcat web apps. Okay, now this is the application that you have created. Now there's another application which is CS Admin which we'll provide to you and that has been provided to you in the through the ulink. Okay, so I go this one. This is the admin application that has been provided. So you just copy this admin application and onto your web apps. Now, the way it works is there are two applications. One is ta Team 2 Task 3 which has been created by you and one is CS100 Admin which has been created by us. 
the data that you the module information and all the data that you will be accessing is provided in this admin application so effectively there are two applications which are interacting with each other okay having done this um, need to go up and we need to restart the uh, Tomcat okay so you click the Tomcat you should see something like this uh, okay Tomcat was running before so I stop it in your case it will be um, you have to start it from fresh okay so I start the Tomcat before I start the Tomcat I just do a mini test which is so now I have come back to my local machine okay and not the virtual machine so I um, so you type the your IP address 134.83.83.200 and the port is 800 which is the default port of Tomcat now if you click this you should see some some screen like this after you okay so you can't see the screen right now the reason is because you have not started the Tomcat yeah so this is a short as the Tomcat is not running right now so we go back to Tomcat and we just start the Tomcat just give it a couple of seconds because maybe the virtual machine is slow you come back to the Tomcat and you start it so the Tomcat is running well and fine now to access your application we will see what was the name of your application which was team 2 task 3 now you'll see the moment you start the Tomcat Tomcat unzips the WAR file and creates a folder with the same names team 2 task 3 and team 2 task 3 uh, is the folder that is created so your application name is team 2 task 3 so we say team 2 task 3 so that's the index.html page that you have you should see this is the this is for team two. I'll just increase this size. Yeah, this is what you had added in the uh, Eclipse folder. Now you need to click here to get the details of the uh, module details. Now let's just make a mini change here. The data for all these modules is stored in your Tomcat, in your web apps, in your admin. This is the admin application in this v1 modules.txt. So I open it with Wordpad. And I let's say I add one more module, let's say um, CS1009 and music. Yes, so I save it. Now when I refresh my page, you should see CS1009 module. Alright, so which means your data is being picked up from the admin application. This one. Okay, so that was the um, uh, that that that's it about this video to just to um, summarize what we did we created a project in Eclipse we imported the sources and the GSP files from our project which is provided to you in this uh, from here and we exported the the project from the Eclipse as a WAR file and then we deployed it in the Tomcat. Now just a uh, um, last comment to understand more about what all Java classes are there in the application we have provided you with a uh, in the application that is there in the ULIC there is this Java doc for student if you open its index.html page you should see all the classes so the classes that are there is this module manager which manages all the module now this module info which is um, the entity or the bean that represents the module so right now it has get name and get ID but probably you will need to extend this and maybe include tutor name you know class timings and all that so you need to extend this class so this Java doc gives you an overview of what all classes are there right now in the application that we have provided okay that's all about this module um, thank you very much.